You want to leave this? Well, I heard that you've been calling me a liar. Yeah. Well. Well. You told Katie that the only reason you keep me close is because of my real estate connections. What? I'm I heard that you wanted to speak to me, uh, but I need to let you know I'm not interested. Okay, I'm just trying to make peace with everyone else, Shannon. So y'all, it's Brian Keith, and I'm back with another video. And today, we're going to talk about the Real Housewives of Orange County. Uh, I'm not really going to go in the particular order of the show, just because I have a little bit of topics I want to talk about and hit on first. Um, but we definitely going to talk about Katie and, you know, Katie and Gina. And we're going to talk about Alexia and Shannon. And then I have to talk about a little bit of Shannon, though. Y'all, like, comment, subscribe. Let's get into the video. Yeah. Let me check my check my shit real quick. Hotter than the fire. Come out my family. If you want to play with me, you can't play in me. On the playground, bitch, you can't play with me. Got it. Want it. Securing the bag. First of all, y'all, my birthday is coming up in like two days, and I'm so excited. Yeah, I went to my mom. I went to my sister's, right? And she got me some, you know, some stuff for my birthday. And I'm just like so grateful because I really don't ask for anything. Um, but my sister, she just know what I want, you know. Um, I bought me a gold bracelet the other day because I wanted to have, you know, something a little bit zangly on my arm, you know. Um, I gotta get it resized because it was a little bit too big. I just, I guess I found out that my- My wrists are too tiny. <laughs> my wrists are too tiny. No, but, um. Yeah, I gotta get a resize and then um, I think about probably getting something else next month. I'm about to cash out some stocks, y'all. The stock market right now is really good in my favor with my portfolio. So I'm about to cash out some stocks real quick and figure out, you know, what I could do with this money. Um, Cause I had, like I told y'all, I had to get my teeth, um, had to get my teeth done. Um, I had to get like two fake teeth in a bad job. Baby, I could, I could bite through a rock, <laughs> okay? Um, but she got me these Versace glasses, and I'm like, girl, like, you know I don't ask for nothing at all. But girl, when I tell you, you did your big one sense, you did your big one sense. Bro, cheers to the girls weekend. So now, I'm definitely gonna have to save up and get like a cute little, you know, I'm gonna have to open up another savings account because I need to put money to the side for my sis and my good mother because this is what we're, if we're doing shit like this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Y'all did y'all big one. I got, I, 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 I give it to her. She did her big one. Yeah. 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 That's all the Virgos. You already know it's our season. We up 10. <laughs> but okay. So. Shannon, I was watching Rodney the Voices um channel, and he was just basically saying that everybody is giving Shannon a pass, and he felt like with Karen from the Potomac, how he felt like the girls gonna be on her head, and they should be on her head, right? I feel like the difference for me, the difference um from what I've seen from the clips from Potomac, that's all I can really speak on. The difference between Karen right now and Shannon is Shannon is profusely. Uh, you know, um, apologizing, taking accountability, and all those things. Karen's talking about, well, you know, I could have died. You know, I something could have happened to me. Instead of thinking of her actions of something could have happened to someone else. You're driving intoxicated and you slam your car in Montgomery County, girl, right outside my apartment, girl. What the fuck? So you don't, you could, you could, like, so much stuff could have happened, right? But I'm not taking away and negating the fact that Shannon was drunk inebriated intoxicated and i feel like shannon should be held accountable for her actions and i feel like she has done that right um and my whole thing is the drinking part is not even a problem what it is i feel like the reason why the fans quote unquote are really rallying behind shannon because y'all seen in my youtube videos like i have i even said when shannon sat down and talked to tamra and talked about the whole situation about Tamara asked her, do you have a drinking problem? He was like, well, you know, I, I'm aware. You're aware of what? Girl, do you have a drinking problem or not? <laughs> like, girl, she's like, well, I'm aware that, you know, that sometimes I can abuse. Well, is, if it's, it's a problem or not. Like, come on now, Shannon, All right? So I do feel like, you know, the girls on the show have not been, you know, they have not spared Shannon by any means. But I feel like the reason why the audience and the viewers are coming to Shannon's defense is solely because of John Jansen and Alexia Bellino or Alexis Bellino. Like, at some point, 
the way that John and Alexis is moving is like, I feel like they're trying to set her up to take our money. And I feel like it just doesn't make any sense. And then Alexis in this episode talks about, oh, well, you know, I don't know why she's bringing up the videos. Bitch, she's bringing up the, the videos because you brought up the videos. <laughs> okay? So how in the fuck are you want to try to sit up here and be like, she shouldn't have brought the videos in this, in this setting? Girl, it doesn't fucking matter. You brought it up yourself. You're the one who brought it up. So everybody knows. So I just think that she's a weirdo. And like I said, um, I think she said something about, oh, well, if somebody comes back, I'm not coming back. Or if Shannon comes back, I'm not coming back. Well, bitch, go ahead and sign your resignation letter because we don't need you, sis. Literally. You haven't. The only thing you've added to was probably the numbers to um, Shannon's um, blood pressure. <laughs> okay. That's the only thing you have tapped dance on Shannon's nerves. I'll give you that one. Um, <clears throat> but we're going to get into this whole Gina and Katie situation, right? So, Gina and Katie, that everything has been cool, but Tamara went to Heather and said, yeah, you know, I feel like Gina's lying about the situation. She said that, you know, the reason why she keeps you around as a friend is because of your real estate contacts. And is that apparently you told Katie that the only reason you keep me close is because of my real estate connections. What? I've never... And my whole thing is, I don't, I, y'all already know, I don't like Gina, right? However, I could have sworn that Gina just started real estate, right? And she has been friends or, you know, on a show with Heather for a minute now. So my whole thing is, where is the relevance? Because if she's never asked her for a contact or if Heather never, you know, offered to give her a contact, then there's no relevance in that, right? Um, so it does seem like somebody's reaching and don't get me wrong. I do feel like Gina has lied in the situation. We already caught that. And I do feel like Katie is definitely, as they would say in Potomac, put a little sauce on it, right? How, as Ashley Darby would do. So, um, I feel like Katie is right now, <clears throat> excuse me, she is definitely adding to the story because she said in her confessional, she said, why would I make this up? Like, it doesn't serve me to make this up. I'm trying to make friends with these girls. Cool. That is definitely the premise of the show. But also, as viewers and also as a person that's on the show, we know that, girl, you need to get into the mess. You need to get into the drama. Okay? Here's the reason why you're my thumbnail. <laughs> um, so, Gina calls it out. We're circling back on it now. You want to leave this? Well, I heard that you've been calling me a liar. Yeah. At, you know, their little lunch. And she's like, I'm so excited for the, you know, this event and us traveling together to Sonoma. This is so great. Thank you, girls, for inviting me. Ah, 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 ah. And she said, Well, you know, I just feel like, you know, stuff needs to be said. And Heather's like, you know, what? <laughs> um, so it came to me that, you know, this whole situation, right, has is resurfacing. I'm just trying to figure out why. Katie. Katie's like, well, you know. So I've heard from multiple people that you called me a liar. And then Gina was like, okay, because you are, you're lying about the situation. And Katie was like, you, the reason why you told me that Heather, she's like, you told me all those things um, about Heather. And now you want to sit here and try to lie and deflect. And Gina is profusely like, I didn't say that. I did not say, I did not say that. I did not say that. I did not. She started getting emotional. And my whole thing is this. Like I said before, emotions really don't do anything for me, you know? I feel like when it comes to, like, especially in this situation, when you're trying to def when you're trying to defend yourself and, def and, and defend your case or something you're saying is true, the emotions for me don't do anything for me because you need to effectively communicate your your side of the story. And with Gina basically saying, like, like I say, in this moment, Gina's saying, you're trying to say that I over here lied and it's like, I'm going through so much and my whole thing is, but what does that have to do with you saying that to Katie, right? Now, Heather and Gina already had a private conversation and Heather's like, I believe everything um, Gina said. So, I mean, Katie's not taking accountability, right? So, Katie's basically like, I have no purpose of lying. Like, you told me that. 
Now, though, I feel, like I said before, I feel like he had to definitely put some sauce on it. But just like the whole situation when Gina said that she didn't tell Katie to bring up the whole paparazzi thing, we found out that was, in fact, true. When she said, girl, if you don't bring it up, I'm going to bring it up. So they start screaming and shouting. Like, when I say Gina is, like, really going in, she's like, you're lying, you're lying, you're lying. I'm like, girl, okay. Um, Tamara then throws in her two cents, which I'm like, girl, Gina, you should have, you should have gave her some of that energy because she's like, girl, girl you look like you're deflecting, you look like you're guilty. My girl, if you don't shut up. <laughs> but next, I want to talk about this whole Shannon and Alexis, right, situation. They have really tried to avoid each other, right? Alexis has, well, you know, you know, um, Emily went to Alexis' room before they had a dinner. Um, and Alexis wants to play the whole victim thing where you should like I feel like you know she like I feel like you guys don't like me because of John because of my relationship with John and I'm like girl don't nobody gives a fuck about your relationship they don't like you because it seems like you have Shannon's name in your mouth more than you have him in your mouth <laughs> okay so at some point it gives either you're trying to just be thirsty for this camera time or you're really just maniacal trying to take this woman down off the shrink of a man. Now, if you want to call her a drunk ass bitch that could crash your house, cool girl. I mean, she did that, right? But you're not even saying that. You're saying, well, you know, Shannon's coming after John. She's ruining his name. Girl, how is she ruining his name when she's the one that got went to jail? She's the one that being sued. She's the one that crashed into the house. She's the one that got a DUI. And she's the one is the trial, the town drunk. I eat with from it, that's it. So that's why I'm just looking at Alexis like, girl, it don't make sense. Like, you really want to try to make this storyline about the boyfriend. You try to make Shannon seem like she's jealous. Ain't nobody jealous of that ugly man. Girl. You know, Emily tries to low-key cool horse Alexis to go talk to Shannon. And, you know, it happens again when at the party. She's like, yeah, you know, Emily's like, um, mind you, this is a charity party, right? And was like, yeah, you know, Alexis, um, why don't you go talk to Shannon? Like, talk to, talk to Shannon, talk to Shannon. Mind you, in the, in the beginning of the episode, Shannon already told his girls, let's have fun. Please don't bring this woman up to me. Don't bring John up to me. But now they want them to have a conversation. Girl, it's either producer push or y'all just really want Shannon to cry again. <laughs> so... Oh, at the end of the episode, um, Shannon, she, she she slams the gavel. She makes it clear. Shannon actually walks over to Alexia, Alexis. Why did Alexis try to give her a hug? Hi. Have fun. All right, Alexia. Be white, okay? Thank you. Hold on, I won't get a hug. Alexis, Alexis I, 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 I said, girl, I give <laughs> a hug. Okay. So, sh Shannon says, hey, Alexis, and... I just want to let you know that I know you want to have a conversation with me. I just want to let you know. You're never going to get it. And walked away. <laughs> you wanted to speak to me, uh, but I need to let you know I'm not interested. Okay? I'm just trying to make peace with everyone else, Shannon. What was that? <laughs> uh, yeah. At this point, Shannon, you just going to have the rise above. Because the girls really don't fuck with you by any means. Y'all, what, what do y'all think? Because, like I said, like, people are saying online that, you know, Shannon is escaping, um, you know, accountability from the people. Um, and they feel like Karen Huger is going to, you know, get it get it hard from the girls. And cancer patients. Yeah. 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 I feel like there's certain shows that really it's hard for them to try to hold certain people accountable. I.e. Jen Shaw with Salt Lake. They could not hold that girl accountable at all. Jen was a habitual victim. Like, girl, we knew she was guilty. All them damn things. Well, Y'all, let me know what you guys think. Um, do you think Shannon is escaping accountability? I don't, personally. But, you know, I like to hear you guys' opinions. Um, but, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Brian Keith, LG, Black Pete. Bet you didn't know we the Holy Trinity. Now let the God stop a y'all and break your head. Step into the room and get up in the bed. It's sweet, that's good. It tastes all cause I'm better in the hood. Uh.
Cause I get you hyper when I run out all around Cause I excite ya Let me talk, let me talk real quick You can't even get get with the shit You wanna go toe to toe with my flow? This hour can't all I really have to flow Uh, now I got to go Got to go, got to go, got to go, got to go.